He issued an executive order in his state allowing all parents to make decisions about whether or not their kids wear masks in schools. Governor, thanks for joining us. How'd you come to make that decision, and what has the reaction been to that executive order that you released yesterday? Hey, Clay, thanks for uh, thanks for having me on. Yeah, I have always been a really strong believer that um, parents know best what their children need. So I, I'm a parent, I raised four kids, got eight grandkids. Uh, no one knows their kid like the parent. No one cares about their children more than their parents. And so in the middle of all of this, Uh, COVID world that we're living in, which is people, there's a lot of fear and a lot of frustration and a lot of anger. Uh, At the end of the day, I think when we think about children in schools and COVID and masks and vaccinations, it ought to be left up to the parent. And so I'm also, I'm also a believer in, you know, government that's closest to the people is the best. So I I think local decision-making is important. So our executive order actually gives the school district the authority to impose a mandate, but it gives the parent the ability to opt out of that if they choose it. Governor Lee, it's Buck here. So are some of the uh, cities, localities, are, are any of them trying to take some kind of action uh, uh, you know, ag- against this? Are they fighting it? Are they saying they're going to ignore it or, or try, to take, uh, try to take you as governor to court? How is, how is this being received? Well, you know, this just happened yesterday afternoon. So, um, we're, you know, we're kind of getting some first responses of a couple of districts that have said, you know, they're looking at their legal options. Uh, what I hope is that those districts, we have, we have some almost 150 districts in our state. There are two of them uh, that have kept their schools closed the longest, have been most uh, have had the have had frankly had the worst outcomes academically of the rest of our districts. Most of the districts in this state have figured out how to navigate this forward. Actually, a couple of them had already imposed an, a mandate with an opt out. Uh, I'm hopeful that these two districts that have already spoken up um, ha, will will actually realize, hey, this makes a lot of common sense. The rest of the districts in this state have have figured out how to do it. We should too. What would you tell parents who are in the two districts are Nashville and Memphis, mostly city schools? What would you tell parents there who may not want their kids to wear masks, but the school districts are saying, hey, we don't care necessarily about the governor's order. You are expected to wear a mask in this school. How should parents respond in your mind in Davidson County and in Shelby County and Nashville and in Memphis? You know, I think I think one of the things that's been important to me is that parents have really put voice to this all across the country. And uh, it's a part of what has occurred even in Tennessee. Parents have made their voices known and they ought to make it known in the two counties and the two school districts that we have that are, you know, making noise about not complying with the law. Um, I, I would encourage parents to make their voice known and to let them know that the law as it's as it stands is for them to opt out and that's what they that's what they want to do. Governor Lee Buck again, I, I just want to know how concerned you are as a governor of a state that's trying to give parents choice about masks and, and also of Tennessee. I'm not, I'm a, a New Yorker, New York City, New York State. Uh so I've had to suffer through some of the worst decision making by a governor and by a, a mayor, I think, of anybody in the country during COVID, how concerned are you about federal policy starting to in- infringe upon the, the freedoms and uh, and protections that the residents of the state of Tennessee should have? Essentially, the Biden administration coming in and whether it's on uh, interstate travel mandates about vaccination or anything else here, are you are you worried? Are you seeing some indicators that that's something you may have to combat as a governor? Well, uh, worried, <laughs> you know, I don't worry about that. I certainly see it coming. We watch this every day. Since January, we've seen government overreach and the federal government trying to tell states what to do on on policy after policy. So I I won't be at all surprised if we uh, see that kind of government intervention into what we do as a state, but but we will we will 
push back and we will talk back. When they tell us what to do, we will tell them what we're going to do. I, I really think that states have a lot of power constitutionally. They have a lot of power in this country. They're, the majority of states are run by Republicans. Uh, there is there is a great awareness, and I think you've seen that even, that the federal government will say what they think states ought to do, but states don't comply because they don't have to constitutionally. And I, I'm not scared of that or worried about it. I'm just prepared for it.